when he's not on the road or competing with Team USA. Bobsledder Adrian Adams Nike is so very narrow. Gets to be around something else he loves. I feel right at home. Shoes. Basketball shoes. You got the LeBrons, Paul Georges, the Kyrie Irvins, the Kevin Durants. The seven-time medalist works at Dick's Sporting Goods in Williston through the Contenders program. The program means everything, you know. We're here, we're there, and we can't work every day on a regular schedule. The Sporting Goods Store supports more than 40 Olympic hopefuls, giving them jobs to earn a steady income and work flexible hours around intense training schedules. Basically, the only break will be around Christmas time. He's putting hard work into practice, showing the grit before the gold. It's cool to be able to be someone, kids who they can look up to that's just like a regular person having that grit and, and working hard before you ultimately, you know, can stand on the podium and win a medal. We're here working among you and, and traveling and training and trying to you know, make money to support our seasons. Skeleton racer Savannah Graybill and luge athlete John Fennell work at the Plattsburgh store. They're sort of like a second family and a support system. You know, I come back and they are so excited to hear about my travel and my training. Training along with competitions that these contenders hope will propel them to the next level. The Olympics is the ultimate goal. It's the one thing that I want to that I want to achieve. All the hard work, dedication and sacrifice I've put into you know, the sport thus far, it would mean absolutely everything to me. In Williston, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.